feel like it's crooked. Um, I'm sorry, I think my background is a little crooked today, but anyways, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Excuse me for looking a little bit on the oily side. I've had this makeup on for about like 10 hours now and it like I desperately need to wash it off. I just got off of work and I decided to throw on some lashes reapply some lipstick and get a video filmed and uploaded for you guys by tonight because I was slacking this week so bad and I feel so guilty not getting a video up and like I love doing it but now my mom is like on break so she's home all the time and my younger brother's room is right next to mine and he's been home like every day this week I don't know why because he works um so I just I haven't had a moment to be alone and film without feeling awkward and like quiet so nobody's home right now which is why I decided to just get this done and get it up for you guys so today's video is going to be a beauty haul of some stuff that I've purchased over the past like week or so I have stuff from Ulta from Jouer and from a very well-known youtuber on here I'll show you guys uh, very soon what I got. I do have an idea of these products so I can give you like a little bit of a review on them also so yeah let me just stop talking and start the video. First and foremost I will talk about the most exciting product that I just got in the mail and that is the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag eyeshadow palette. This is by Manny MUA here on YouTube and I absolutely love him. This came in the box of like the um the photo shoot card that they had, the promo card for the uh, eyeshadow palette. And this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I'm going to be doing a full review on this palette. I will probably have that up next week, but like I said, I, I slacked way too much this week and I don't have time to do a review and eyeshadow look using it within like two hours to get a video up for you guys. It just, it wouldn't work. So this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. And like I said, I will be doing a full review on this. I'm not going to talk about it too much right now, but that video will be up next week. I have already used it. There are a couple photos up on my Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. But yeah, so that's the first thing that I got, and I'm, I was so excited to get it. Spoiler alert, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited to get a video up on this one for you guys next week. And then the next order that I got in the mail was from Jouer. And I told you guys I purchased a new shade in the foundation. So again, I feel like it's not a perfect shade match, but it works. So I picked up the shade Pebble in the high coverage cream foundation and it works. It has neutral undertones, but I think I could have gone one more shade up with the warm undertones. I'm not sure what that shade is called, but I think that actually would have worked like perfectly. So I don't know. I might return this one and then and get like the one that will match me the best. But this works. I do like it a lot and it does darken after it dries. So I think that's why like the coloring is so hard to get right with this foundation. But this shade matches pretty well. I haven't decided yet if I want to go through that whole return process again. I mean, it didn't really take too long, the turnover process, but I don't know. I haven't decided. Right now I'm, I'm okay with what I have, so. And then the next product that I picked up was the light to medium uh, bronzo, bronzo, bronzer duo. This is the shades sunlight and suntan. This is the same concept as like their blush duos that they have. I told you guys I was going to be purchasing this. I actually really like this, but it is very light. So this I have to really build up on my skin tone. So if you're any deeper than I am, I would definitely suggest just getting like the medium to dark shade that they have because I think I could even get that one. So I think this is going to be best suited for like very, very like porcelain to light skin tones and then anywhere from light my skin tone like light medium ish to darker skin tones uh you probably would be best off ordering the darker shade that they have in this duo so i still really like this i think the formula is really great and i love the packaging uh it's a little bit different than the blushes the blushes have like a rose pattern on there and these are just like stripes or whatever you want to call it but yeah i i absolutely love the formula of these i think they're really good I think if I were to choose again, I would get the darker shade though. So just a heads up for anybody out there who is interested. And then I got a lip liner from them somewhere. I didn't prepare myself for this one. Where did I put it? Hold on, I need to find it. 
How did I already lose that? I bought a lip liner from them that I actually really liked, but I don't know where I put it. I'm gonna find it. So confused. How did I already lose that? I haven't even had it for like more than a week and I can't find it. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just insert a photo of the lip liner that I picked up. I'm pretty sure I picked up the shade. Oh, I found it. It was in my eyeliner little cubby thing. I don't know why. I don't know why I went there. But this is the Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liner in the shade Sienna, not Sable. This is in Sienna, and I actually really like this. It's a very creamy formula, so if you like a drier formula, like a wooden stick formula, you might not like this because this is very, very creamy. But this is what the shade looks like. It's very similar to almost like a lighter, like, ColourPop Beeper, or almost very similar to what I have on right now, which is Kylie's Commando Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Yeah, I really like this one. It's right up my alley for like a nude everyday color on the lips. So like I said, this one is very creamy, it's very easy to apply, and I like it a lot. And then the next place that I got some stuff from was Ulta. I placed an online order for one item in particular because there was a sale on them if you have like the Platinum Perk membership or something. The item that I am talking about and the one that I picked up, I picked up two different shades and they are the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. So I love these, you guys know that if you've been watching me. I have one full size one, I'm trying to get that out. I have one full size one already in rose gold retro and then I have three mini ones in Diamond Dust, Smoky Storm, and Kitten Karma. These are really, really great glitter eyeshadows if you are looking for some. They are a little pricey. Normally one of them is $24 a piece and they were on sale for $14 each when I placed my order. So I picked up more like unique colors because I don't wanna spend full price on colors that I'm not gonna get that much wear out of, if that makes sense. So I'd rather spend full price on colors like the ones that I have now already, just because I know I'll get all my money's worth out of them. And so I decided to pick up some colors that I'm gonna wear, but they're just not gonna get as much use as like a, of the other shades that I was telling you about. So the first one that I picked up is in the shade Sea Siren and I figured these would be perfect for the summertime. It's a great time to wear these uh, and I'll go ahead and do some swatches for you. This one is like a bright pinky blue purple shift. So when it catches the light, you can see it reflects blue but the actual color of the shadow is like a purpley pink bright color. So you can see it's like shifting a lot. So yeah, I picked that one up. That one's in the shade Sea Siren. And then I also picked up Sunset Cove, which is another like duochrome sort of reflect one. And this is what it looks like in the packaging. And I'll swatch this one for you. And I figured these would go so well with the new Manny MUA palette, the Life's a Drag palette. So that one is right here. So this one reflects more like greeny yellow color. And its base color is like a lighter pink than the other one. So this is like a really bright fuchsia color that reflects blue. And this is a still a, a bright pink, but it's lighter. And it's reflecting like a, a yellow tone, yellow green sort of. So yeah, those are the two that I picked up and that was the main reason why I placed an order and then of course I wanted to get free shipping. So I decided to spend a little bit more money. So the next couple of things that I picked up was L'Oreal was buy one get one half off. So I decided to pick up one of these L'Oreal Less Chocolates available Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sweet Tooth. I haven't worn this on my channel yet but I have worn it in a photo on my Instagram. These are really 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 good uh it smells amazing too it actually smells like chocolate this is a swatch of it right here so very similar to the lip liner and it's just a really good everyday nude this formula i'm still getting used to it so if you put this on and you like rub your lips together it will like separate on your lips so you do have to let this dry completely 
before you push your lips together because if you do that you're just gonna mess it up and you have to reapply but once it does dry down it is completely transfer proof so it is good you just have to be patient and let it dry down and then I picked up one of my holy grail mascaras because it was about that time and I literally always 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 repurchase this I'm telling you guys if you guys need a good mascara that you're looking for at the drugstore I always go back to this one and I've recommended this to so many people and they absolutely love it so normally at the drugstore this is like the very bottom of the shelf for L'Oreal I don't know why um, but it's a gem I swear so if you haven't tried it you should definitely check it out and then I picked up a couple of concealers so I picked up a new Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey and on the website it said that it's supposed to have more like yellow undertones or peach undertones, I'm not too sure. But this is pretty pinky in my opinion, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this shade. I just wanted something a little bit darker. This is it right here. So I wanted something darker that I could use to cover any blemishes on my face and I don't know, it works. I guess, but I think I want a different shade. I think I want something just a little bit darker. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one yet. And then I picked up a new shade of the Flower Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And I picked this up in the shade Light Medium N12. I already have the shade Light L34, whatever that means. But this is, this is way too dark. I have to return this because this does not match me at all. It's just way too dark for me even when I'm tan. This is what these, can you guys tell? This is like borderline could, it, it can't, I don't think, it's not a contour shade for me, but it is really dark. So I need to return this one. I'm not sure, and that's it right there. I'm not sure if there's a shade in between these two that I could get, but do you see like the shade difference right here? It's a major difference. But this one said that it had like yellow undertones and that's the reason why I got it, but it's it's just way too dark for my skin tone. So I need to return this one, unfortunately. And since I'm already gonna do that, I was thinking about exchanging the Tarte Shape Tape one, but I don't know yet. We shall see. I think I just will. I mean, might as well if I'm gonna be there already, right? Like, kill two birds with one stone. I hate that saying. I absolutely hate that saying. And I think that's it, you guys. That's all that I have. I know this was a really quick and short video, but I really wanted to get something up for you guys and this is definitely doable for me to have done by six o'clock tonight. It's already 32, so I have four hours. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. I am looking forward to filming with this. Again, I do have a look already up on my Instagram. If you aren't following me on Instagram, you definitely should. I try to post more makeup stuff on there as well. This will be next week's video. I promise, promise, promise. It will be next week's video. But in the meantime, there are already a ton of videos out there showcasing this beautiful palette. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I think I'm going to start asking you guys to press that notification bell. That way you guys get notified whenever I upload a video. That way you don't miss it. Since YouTube is being a little complicated lately, it would just make it easier for everybody if you just hit that bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.